In this video, I reveal how professional videographers use this one filter to get perfect colors with their camera. Let's get started. Hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that wedding film trailer. That was the wedding film that took about 10 hours to film with the Canon R6. And although we're not talking about overheating in this video, that's for next week's video that I'm gonna be filming posting in October. Now I bring this up because an IR cut filter will be the secret ingredient to getting a more professional image out of the Canon R6. So let's learn a little bit more about why this even matters to you. Also stick around because I will be announcing the winner of the Canon 16 millimeter 2.8. Today is a very special day because you will learn how to get maximum color clarity straight out of your camera by using this one filter. This type of IR filter is not the same as a regular IR filter that adds a massive red color cast to your image. This is an IR cut filter. In fact, this filter does the exact opposite and removes the most damaging frequencies of light from your image. The UV-IR cut filter from Cinemod Lens is an ultraviolet and infrared control filter that is useful for digital cinematography and still photography. When used, 88% of all ultraviolet light waves are blocked at 380 nanometers, along with 95% of all infrared light waves at 700 nanometers, ensuring light limited to the visible spectrum is recorded. When used alongside a multi-stop neutral density filter or an ND filter, potential color shifts are prevented or minimized, preserving color accuracy throughout the frame. The cool part is this filter also reduces that unwanted blue cast while recording digital video or photography outside underneath daylight, which also is heavy, intense ultraviolet rays. Get this, the Cinemod filter is made with 28 layers of multi-resistant coating. That's about 14 layers on each side. Now this high quality broadband coating is applied on both sides and enhances the optical image properties, allowing uniform and increased transmittance across the entire light spectrum. With minimum reflection, that is, because you might be curious about that. Now the cool part is that this protection also ensures that your lens won't be scratched. It does increase the scratch resistance and it is remarkably fast to clean if you have one of your cloths with you in your pocket or during a wedding. Now, if you shoot wide angle lenses, you might find this useful. The slim filter ring design is compatible with wide angle lenses, right? With an equivalent of a 17 millimeter full frame lens width. And if you look around the edges, it's called knurling. It's also great for gripping when you're turning the filter and putting it on so you don't have to worry about your filter getting stuck trying to get it off. It does have grips around the side of it that will make it easier to put the filter on and take the filter off. Now, by using the IR cut filter, how are you actually capturing better quality than not using the filter? Well, 88% of all the ultraviolet light rays are blocked at 380 nanometers before they are further removed, reducing that bluish cast of daylight when recording digital video or photography. Also, 95% of all infrared light waves are blocked at 900 nanometers, after which they are progressively eliminated. Pretty cool, right? Now, there are certain camera sensors that IR cut filters would actually work well with. 
an IR cut filter could be useful on sensors like a CCD sensor or a CMOS sensor, which you see in Canon cameras a lot. Now, the IR cut filter will be useful for these sensors to help filter out light pollution that causes those unwanted color shifts that are often actually associated with high quality polarizers or ND filters. And the IR cut filter can help you with that. Now, do you see why I greatly appreciate this? Because if you've been to this channel before, you know how I'm a stickler to get maximum color clarity out of the Canon R6. Now, before you purchase this IR cut filter, I do recommend looking online to see if your camera already has one in it. Now, unless you're buying a cinema camera, more than likely your camera doesn't actually have an IR filter built into it. However, cameras like the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro have a built-in IR cut filter because people were complaining that their blacks looked purple and their whites looked blue. And that's what this filter can help out with. At least that is one of the ways you can notice the difference between using this filter and not using the filter. If you ever shot outside during nighttime or during midday with an ND filter, you notice like there's this blue cast in your highlights, your whites look blue-ish and your blacks have magenta or purple or like this weird color noise in it. Well, that's why you should get the IR cut filter because it does maximize your camera and give you color clarity. You see this same look in red cameras and other cinema cameras. However, when you shoot with the Canon R6 specifically, you start to match your image a little bit more to a cinema camera. Looks like we just lost some light right there. Now, if you're curious about how do I expose my image then after putting on an IR cut filter, I ensure you, you do not have to worry about exposure. There are no additional requirements needed for adjusting your exposure when you put on this IR cut filter. Just expose the image as you normally do. I normally expose my images to the right if I'm shooting in log or raw. However, with the Canon R6, often I just shoot straight out of camera with my custom Cinema Elite Picture Profiles, which is what you saw in the wedding video, which is what you saw in the beginning of this video. Now you can properly expose an image by using the histogram on your camera. However, this video is not about exposure. So let's keep moving forward. Now, if you're wondering, the coating on the IR cut filter actually does prevent ghosting in case you are worried about that. And it also removes those unwanted reflections that you might be curious about. And the craftsmanship, goodness, it's remarkable. It's constructed from shot glass. Now, not like shot glass, but S-C-H-O-T-T. -T. I think that's how it's spelled. And this results in a massive massive amount of optical clarity. Now this is the cool part. Check this out. The brass ring around the edge prevents jamming. How cool is that? Look at that little, I don't know if you can see the red. Let's try to get it closer. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. Now, if you are using a mirrorless camera as your primary camera tool to just capture weddings or commercial work or real estate, then this filter does come in a 77 millimeter and an 82 millimeter thread as of the making of this video. And you can also combine other filters with it. This means you can combine your IR filter with your favorite ProMist filter without having to worry about losing quality or experiencing ghosting or anything like that. Just be mindful, don't skip this part of the video. Your IR cut filter yeah. has to sit as close as possible to the lens, which means you put the IR cut filter on first and then your effects filter, whether it's a pro mist or something else. Now, I typically just keep this filter on my 50 millimeter with the lens cap that sits right on top of the filter. That way you don't have to keep taking it off and putting it on. Your lens cap will actually just fit right onto the filter. And if that's not something you're interested in, it does come with this really cool plastic case huh? that you can just put in your pocket if you want to. However, I just typically keep it on my lens and the case stays at home. Now my favorite part, my absolute favorite part about this IR cup filter, because it's a really important filter, is the price. I don't know if you know this already, but an IR cup filter is typically around like six to $800, maybe four or five if you get different off brands, but that's a lot of money to spend on a piece of glass. So if you buy this filter today as the making of this video, it's only 90 bucks. 
Now I know $90 is a lot of money to some people, but that's really not that bad when you're talking about an IR cut filter because IR cut filters make the biggest difference in the color clarity of your videos. When you look at other filters just like this that are six or $700, you're like, no way, I am not gonna buy that because it's only a noticeable difference to me. My people won't notice, but they will notice if you use it. If you put on that IR cut filter on your lens, they will see an improved quality. And you can see that in the beginning of this video in the wedding trailer that I filmed with the Canon R6 for about 10 hours. And no, the camera did not overheat, but we're gonna cover that in another video on how I was able to do that. Nevertheless, that is why I believe you should buy this filter. Now, Simamod did not sponsor this video and I paid my own money for this filter. So if you purchase it, I'm not getting any kind of anything from it. And if you're using a mirrorless camera, it's all about getting the image right straight out of camera. Now, if you're considering this like, oh, it's just $90, it probably sucks. No, no, it doesn't. They've lowered the price to make an entry-level videographer capable of using something so powerful and something so important without compromising the quality of the image. It's crazy. Normally cheaper means it, eh, it doesn't work it, but it does. It does. And if you like the way the footage looked in the beginning of this video, then you know that to be true. In closing, purchasing this IR cup filter will help reduce those toxic light rays that are hitting your sensor and throwing your colors out of whack. This is gonna result in a cleaner image that resembles cinema camera. And when you pair it with some of the other lens filters that Cinemod offers, like their Araya mist filter, then you can get an even more cinematic image out of your Canon R6. Now we will be covering those Araya mist filters in another video because Simama did send those ones to me for me to test out and review on this channel. I'm still testing all of the different stops of diffusion. So that video is coming later on next month. Now, if you want to learn more about the mist filters that I use, at least the ones I used in the beginning of this video, then you can check out the link in the description to go check out their website and learn more about those filters. However, we're gonna cover that stuff in October. All right, giveaway time. So we are giving away the Canon 16 millimeter 2.8 RF. Did I miss anything? Those titles are getting so long. Wide angle lens, there you go. So we're giving away the 16 millimeter lens and the lucky winner is, let's pull it up. What'd you think about that, um, the twin, the cloning effect? What'd you think about that? Leave a comment down below if you thought that was pretty funny. Santos V, let's call you that. Santos, you are the winner of the Canon 16 millimeter F 2.8. You are the lucky winner of the Canon 16 millimeter lens. Shoot me an email at info at cassianfilms.com with your address so I can ship this lens out to you next week. Boom, there it is. Now, if you enjoy this channel, stick around because throughout the holidays, we are going to be giving away a lot of gear, microphones, gimbals, cameras, lenses, and so much more. Now, that is all for me. If you found this video helpful, I challenge you to click that subscribe button to help support the growth of this community. That's all for me. So until next time, stay motivated and I'll see you in the next